Let's play. Well, there's the new opening. Many, many a hour went into work on that, like, four-second masterpiece. Yes, etc. Anyway, more Mario Galaxy. Ah, uh, we're on the selection screen for Dusty Dune Galaxy, as you can see. Apparently, there's a second hidden star. We already got one in the second star that was this... No, that was that one, yeah. But apparently there's another one in star number three, and I actually, during my first playthrough of this, I did not see anywhere where there would be a secret, so... I'm just gonna go have a look, and I guess I'll cut to wherever it is. Okay, uh, yeah, we hit that log, notes appear, and there's a separate... Ah, uh, launch star. So, we're, this is going to take us here. You can actually see this from that platform over there. So, I kind, I've kind of thought, oh, that looks weird. We haven't been there before. And now we have been here. So, I so I bet I know exactly what's going to go on here. I bet if I push this down, that's going to go up. And we need to keep leading one of these around until it gets all the way to the top where there'll be something that needs to blow up. I'm totally right. Totally. Come on, keep following. No, don't hit that. You don't dare. Don't you dare. Oh, shit. No. No, don't run into the ground, you stupid bullet. Oh, well, there's just as many annoying dry bones here as there was on the other platform. So, here is the power star that we have missed. Oh, there's a rainbow star in there as well. Ooh, I like that. There's no way we can... Oh, no, we can. We don't have to lower it to get another... All right, well, here we go. That was simple enough. I totally knew that, by the way. <laughs> Oh, but it's all the way up there. What a stupid start. It's like, oh, you can't catch me. What a, what a jerk. You know, just for that, I'm going to kill a bunch of dry bones. Uh, if more, any more bullet bills are going to come out. I don't think so. Maybe on the other side. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Ow. How dare you, brick wall. How dare, how dare you assault Mario. This game doesn't want me to get another... Oh, I see. They swap sides. Okay, so, uh... There we go. Okay. Come over here. Come over here to the Rainbow Star so we can kill a bunch of Dry Bones. Because, uh, that would be very pleasing. They have screwed me around enough in this galaxy. Ho oh, It's... Undead killing time. Aha! Not to mention all these star bits. Because we probably need some more of those. I imagine the next Hungry Luma will require quite a bit of star bits. Oh! <laughs> and that's all. And I'm not going to bother opening that cage because it's just like six star bits or something. And we really don't need six. Six is not a big amount. Yeah, I can imagine dying by crushing myself here. That'd be pretty embarrassing. I, I would think anyway. All right, elusive naughty naughty power star. I'll need to give you a spanking so you behave and stop jumping away from me when I make you magically free you. I free it from cage and it runs away from me. What a jerk. This power star is a jerk, and I never want to see you again. Goodbye. Yeah. He's a jerk. Okay, with that done, 66. We will be moving on to the Grand Star Galaxy. Won't that be fun, huh? We haven't done one of those for a while. This is a big... This dome's big. The bedroom's really big and spacious. And it's another pissed Bowser head. <laughs> Bowser's dark matter plant, huh? Well... Bowser must be making lots of Dark Matter, and he's selling it to the Final Fantasy world, because uh, Dark Matter is pretty awesome in that world. So he must be making a pretty big fortune, I'd imagine. Ah, gravitational arrows. Because <laughs> all you need is arrows pointing in one direction for the gravity to shift. That's all you need. And oh, we also need re really, really, really weird looking poison. That is some odd-looking poison. Now, for some reason, I want to talk to this Luma. There are a bunch of traps here, too. Just be careful of the gravity. So, no, I don't want to talk to you again. <sighs> Whose idea was it to make the jump button the talk button? What? What? I really should have listened to that Luma, huh? Be careful of the gravity. No freaking kidding. Gee. <laughs> he told me... Okay, no, no back jumping off the platforms for no reason. 
Oh, but I like doing that. Yo, this game's no fun when it doesn't let me do what I want. It's not fair. <laughs> ah, but this galaxy isn't that much new. Like the other one, I don't think it takes too long to get to Bowser. Pretty standard stuff. So the gravity is shifting, and we need to make sure we don't fall to the bottom. Otherwise, we'll die. Well, I don't think you'll die here, because that seems to be a platform you can stand on there. But uh, other spots, we will die. Doesn't look like this is one either. Can you die at all in this galaxy if it has nothing to do with poisonous swamp? Speaking of poisonous swamp, is there even any more of that? Because uh, that's a pretty like weird one-off. Just like, ha, let's put... I knew, I knew we could jump up on top of here. Yeah, take that game. Can't hide from me. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Right. Yeah, I can imagine Bowser being like, oh, let's put this poisonous swamp right at the start to intimidate Mario. That way he will leave the galaxy and never come back. Oh, don't bother putting it anywhere else, though, because uh, we don't need any more of that one-hit KO stuff. Okay, cl ooh, climbing poles. This is very reminiscent of Super Mario 64, which uh, this music is from two. Don't... Uh, yeah, if it isn't pretty obvious, you go through on those uh, blue squares. Or are they rectangles? Blue, yeah, so we'll fall into the poisonous swamp. Never mind that crap with the Bowser, by the way. There's more poisonous swamp here. So I guess he only wants it in inter intermittent areas. I did not see that. I was too busy looking... That, that Bowser is a genius. I was too busy looking at that oddly placed one up. He put that there on purpose. He's like, mm, I'll put this here so Mario will be too preoccupied. What, what do you say? Helpful info, I bet. <laughs> the dark matter is eating holes in space. Watch out for them or you'll fall into that dark matter. Well, there you go. If you didn't figure out that blue is bad or this dark matter, quote unquote, then now you know because uh, knowledge is power or something along those lines. Anyway. I will take this obviously placed one up. Now I'm I'm clear I'm clearly looking out for blue parts on the ground. When there's no platform on them, they're sort of camouflaged. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm just blind. Yeah, that's really not that camouflaged. Whoa, Mario. Yeah, that one there is, but the others aren't. So there we go. What you slow down, one up. <laughs> that one up was taking bribes from Bowser. <laughs> what what the hell happened there? Is that what? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain this. I'm holding down right now. And when he gets there, he just like instantly... F I... What? Ma what? Mari? What the fuck was... What the fuck's going on? <laughs> I think I broke the game. Something's... Yeah, I... I don't even know what to say. I literally think I broke the game. As soon as I entered that area there, I just can't control Mario. Something's... Something's real. Okay, okay. I don't even know what happened there. That was... I don't even remember that happening before. That was so fucking... <laughs> Mario does not want to listen to me. Well, he, he's probably like, This guy made me fall into the dark matter twice. So fuck him. I'll do what I want myself. Well, fuck you, Mario. I'm, uh... Damn, I got you through those trial galaxies, didn't I? Um, no, careful. <laughs> you should listen to me, Mario. I promise I won't let you fall into the dark matter again. But my fingers were crossed behind my back. ha ha ha. Ah, that was simple enough, right? Well, that's facing this way, so I'll need to be, um, on this side. Almost jumped back into the green <laughs> direction all there, which would have killed me. Okay, so over we go. Do lots of, lots of back jumps. Do all the back jumps. This is pretty cool. I, th I think we're getting close to the end. You know, you know you're getting close to the end when Goombas are wearing helmets, because, uh... Goombas always remember to bring their protection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is like it. Freeing Loomers, create stairs. Use the stairs here. No, I was just gonna look at them. Because they're very pretty stairs, you know. T tiling the stairs like that, that was a very nice creative choice, Bowser. I commend you on that. Thanks a lot. Well, you're welcome a lot, Loomer. You're very welcome. Right, here we go. Wah! Who do you think you are, Wario? It's you! That's it, Mario. I'm gonna stomp you into space bits. Well, don't feed me to a hungry Luma, please. 
and here we go to the exact same battle. Reminiscent of Super Mario 64 much. <laughs> Every battle with Bowser in that game is like the exact same thing pretty much. As, is in, as, as it is in this game. Except I think this time we're on a smaller planet with more obstacles in it. But of course that great opera music's back. Oh, the Bowser's singing along. Oh. <laughs> Bowser's a sprinkler. I'm not going to aim directly at Mario. I'm just going to shoot all around me, and in, in the slight chance that one of them maybe hits him. Well, see now he's he's learning. Now he's going straight at me like that. See. Now do the thing that allows me to hit you, which is some something. Oh right, yeah, he does the jump. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Nope. That's that's not good. Well, he's got some new moves. That's important. Gee, he does not want to jump. Gee. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, he just missed. There we go. Well, I hit myself that time too. No, no, I didn't. What am I on about? <laughs> okay. In the tail. And uh, in the shell, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's pissed now. I will furiously show how furious I am by jumping in gr and growling because jumping and growling is far more intimidating than just growling, as everyone knows. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of shockwaves. He truly is pissed. Ow. And he's really getting me with that one. It's, it's like, I've got so much health, it's like, why even bother dodging? Alright, jump, go- no, he's doing it three times, ow. Well, um, I better find some health, or just, you know, actually be careful. He apparently wants to do that three times now, there he goes, three times. Now he's jumping, and he missed, come on. Oh, <laughs> that was risky, no wonder Mario doesn't want me to control him. Alright, but Bowser's done. And one more. There we go. Fall off your planet and onto the platform, which we sh again, we should have fought on here because I really don't have any way to hurt you if we're on here. But then again, he'll go like flying off, so I guess that might hurt him. Bwahahaha. Not bad. I guess I, cho I chose... Chose, yes. I chose the right guy to be my arch enemy. <laughs> At least you always put up a fight. But it's too bad for you because my master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Mario. Yes, Bowser's amazing master plan that involves making some giant lava galaxy to somehow take over the world with. <laughs> but enough of that. We got ourselves Grand Star number four. Yeah, Mario, Mario has the right to be ecstatic now because we're actually somewhat on the way there. Still got quite a few to go, though. I don't, I don't think that changed the color. It's still blue. I'm pretty sure it was blue last time, but then again, my memory is very foggy these days. <laughs> Yep, only one more grand star to go. Oh, you oh, you feel like activating now, so I don't have to cheat my way up there anymore, huh? <laughs> Bowser's darkness on the horizon. Bowser's dark matter planet. Galaxy complete. High score. 21. Beat that. I dare anyone to beat that. You beat this high score, I will... Um, shit, what will I do? I'll put out a video that says how awesome you are, and that'll be all the video will be. <laughs> Uh, wow, yeah, we've got one here, and all of that. Awesome. We have a, 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 a certained, ascertained. Gee, she's got a big, uh, <laughs> thingamabobber. And I had I don't have a big thingamabobber. We have ascertained the location of your special one. Please take a look at, at the circle by your feet. How much do we need? We need... One. <laughs> that number represents the power stars you need to reach the center of the universe. That number will decrease with each power star you recover. 
And when it reaches zero, the Comet Observatory will regain full power and flies the Starship again. Then we'll be able to reach the center of the universe. So essentially, I only need one star to beat the game, sort of. But something tells me, oh, never mind. The Comet Observatory has full power. Now it can fly through the cosmos again. Well, so much for having to get all the grand stars. It's time. Do you want to go to the... Pff, no. Screw that. We've got so much more stars to get. Yeah, I could go save Peach, or we could go check out the engine room. Let's do that. And that other star that we revealed, that one, like one star galaxy that appeared on the map, we really want to do that too. But uh, I don't think we'll have enough time to do that now. That'll probably be what we start the next episode with. That was awesome. Now, that one didn't appear to be active. That, not that one, the other one. All right, well, here's the engine room. Let's reveal a bunch of galaxies, see what we've got in store, huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> that is interesting, though. I was not aware you could actually beat the game without getting the, all the grand stars. I thought you had to at least have them all before it gave you the option of fighting the final boss. But I don't know. I guess you didn't. Maybe I did. Maybe I just forgot. All right, let's reveal. What do we got? Gold Leaf Galaxy, oh, more bees, just what I need. <laughs> We've also got Sea Slide Galaxy. Now, that may look like it's one of those Manta Ray riding ones. It is not, but I do like that galaxy. It's pretty cool. And we have Toy Time Galaxy. That Toy Time has a new power-up that, uh, that's pretty cool. That one too. And we've got Bone Fin Galaxy. That's, that one's pretty lame. And I've also got the uh, Grand Star Galaxy, which I'll just reveal now, because you know it is. It's just a pissed Bowser head. Ooh, Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor. The only problem with that is, until we do this now, the, the music's going to be lame like this. But oh well, we haven't at least heard the lame music in, enough, so we'll hear it some more. Anyway, that'll be all for this episode. Thank you very much for watching this crazy episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Next time, we'll... uh. Well, maybe, may, probably get on the Gold Leaf Galaxy, but we'll do that other galaxy outside too. So, I'll see you there. Goodbye.